what's up today so let's do a complete multi time frame analysis on gold let's see what kind of trading opportunity currently we have in this instrument as you can see gold from the lower time frame perspective giving us a significant trading opportunity now before we discuss how we can trade let's look at the bigger picture to see the general direction in the market and then we'll jump onto this lower time frame to see how we can trade gold looking at first of all monthly time frame now from the monthly perspective we see that gold is a long-term bearish market now starting with this we have seen that there was a strong monthly impulse back to back three months created this impulse to the upside on gold now with that impulse we have seen previous months gold had a significant drop now after this kind of impulse we can expect a decent retracement in this market so as a result we have seen that gold primarily retraced up to 38.2 percent and then again rejected to the upside now we see that gold sellers again has come back to the market and highly likely that this market might now try to retrace up to 50 percent fibonacci level and with that 50 percent fibonacci level we see that this market is aligning with this important level of resistance zone here above this long monthly doji also aligning with 20 period moving average on the monthly perspective which is a very important area of value for gold to retest so with that said we can expect now gold to come back down to this level before creating any movement to the upside or even breaking down further looking at weekly time frame we have seen the previous week there is a strong green candle to the upside and as you can see this week once the price has broken this high the price immediately rejected to the downside now this is looking like it's a false breakout to the upside after this impulse we have seen this movement to the upside and the price just been completely rejected from this level giving a level of false breakout along this zone possibility that now the gold price will continue to drop as it has grabbed liquidity from this level it has a momentum now to continue to drop so with that said on the weekly we see that there is a high probability for this price to continue to drop now at the same time if we take this impulse on the weekly and place our fibonacci we see that with that impulse gold also has gone up to around 38.2 percent fibonacci level and because the momentum is high we saw that immediately it has been rejected from that zone so we can expect now gold at least to come to this monthly fibonacci level which is around 17 88 zone now looking at daily now from the daily we can see that after creating an inverted head and shoulder gold has broken to the upside and then immediately has come back down in this long term daily range so this zone that we see that on gold is a fake move to the upside giving a high momentum for this price to continue to drop in this direction now this is the last day of trading week's candle we saw that there is a long narrow doji now with that kind of doji what we can expect now the price to go up and test some part of this long week now if we look at 50 percent of this long week candle we see that highly likely gold may come back to this level around 18 19 zone to retest this level as a, as a resistance as you can see this level acted here in the past as a support in the recent time with this daily pin but we have seen a very strong rejection from this support turning resistance here and also this is the half of this long week doji now we saw that in that zone there is a lot of seller and as soon as you will see gold is rejecting from this level on the lower time we can expect to sell gold now if we look at for the lower time frame on the intraday we see that this market is consolidating along this zone after this drop and whenever the buyers buying this market we saw that there's a long week candle has been created that that's the sign that there's a lot of sellers in this zone now you can see that there's a long week candle has been left alone and we could see at some point as you can see the price is pushing high what we are expecting this price to go ahead and test some upper week of this candle and in that zone there is a 
20 EMA on the four hour time frame. So as soon as you will see that gold in that level we will wait for a strong rejection on the lower time frame so as soon as we will find we will consider going short on gold with a high probability trade setup with our students if you find value in this analysis then smash the like button and also let us know in the comment section which way you are trading gold thank you i'll see you soon in my next analysis